Good afternoon, everybody. This is Thomas Ott for NeuromarketTrends.com, and welcome to my 12th video. This one is about using the generate attribute operator to help you build trading rules. I'm going to show you a rather quick and easy way on how to do just that using the generate attribute operator. First things first, I created a new process here. It's empty for the moment. And what we're going to do first is we're going to pull in some data, some financial market data. And I have that specifically here for some gold trend data here. And why don't we take a look at it so we can see what it looks like. Okay. I have the date, I have a classification up or down for the gold trend, I have oil, the S&P 500, the German DAX, and the 10-year bond note, the percent yield. So what I want to do is I want to create a new attribute, which we're going to call signal, and I want to have this new attribute automatically determine that if the oil is below, or actually, sorry, if the oil is greater than $75, a barrel, it's going to generate a number one, which could refer to a buy signal or something along that line. And if it's below 75, it's going to generate zero, which could be which could be related to a hold signal, for instance. So how would we do that? Okay, let's go back here. We're going to look for the generate attribute operator right here, and we're going to connect it. Now, in order to generate the attribute, um, you have to edit the list here. That'll be, you'll come up with the attribute name and function expressions. But what you need to know for the function expression is if you look down here in this part of the information for the operator, it allows you to do all types of expressions, addition, subtraction, uh, power, uh, equal, not equal, things of that nature, some log and exponential function, trigonometric functions, statistical functions, and even some if-then-else type of statements, which we're going to use a little bit later, and which we're going to use... Actually, I take the back. I'm going to use that right now. So let's go in here, click on Generate Attribute, Edit List, and we're going to add a new entry. And as I said, we're going to call the new attribute signal. And what we want to do now is use an if-then statement to say that if the price of oil per barrel is greater than 75, we want to generate a number one, which could be a buy signal. Now, why am I using a value instead of a nominal? Well, it's very difficult to use a nominal uh, to generate something, um, to use the if-then statement and generate a nominal true or false value. You have to use a numerical one. So let's go do that now. So we're going to go if, parentheses, open, CL, which is the name of the attribute, CL, is greater than 75. The true function is 1, and the false function is 0. So I'll hit OK, and now let's run the process. There we have it. See how quickly? Now we have the date, GC trend, CL, S&P, German DAX, the 10-year note, and now we have a new attribute, the signal attribute. And you can see here, that if it's below 75, which this is, it goes zero. And if it's above, it's one, which could be pretty useful. Now that's great, but what happens if you want to do nesting? A nesting if-then statement. You can do that with this operator. So let's go back and try that. What I want to do now is I want to say if the price of oil is greater than 75, I still want it to generate this one signal. But if it's less than 72, I want it to generate the two signal, which could be a sell. And anywhere in between 72 and 75, I want a zero, which could be a hold signal. So let's go do a nested if-then statement. Very simple to do. Go over here, get rid of the zero because that's the false condition. And put in if, parentheses, CL is less than 72 we want to say generate the two function. If it's not true, we want zero. 
And we close the parentheses here. And now we can run it again. And we're done. Now look at it here. Let's go find the two signal. Here's the two signal. Remember what we had said? That if the price is less than 72, we want to generate a two signal. If the price is between 72 and 75, such as this one here, it becomes a zero signal. And if it's above 75, it becomes a one signal. And there you have it. This is a very handy dandy little operator that I personally didn't even realize existed in Rapid Miner 5.0, 5.x. It wasn't until I went to RCOM 2010 where it was showcased in the Who Wants to Be a Data Miner game show, which was absolutely hilarious and a lot of fun. And once I saw that, I said, wait a second, I could use this to create trading signals for data that I have. You could, of course, use this for other methods. So you could say, that's just for fun. And this won't make any sense whatsoever, but you can create another signal such as um, two times oil, let's say. And you could say CL times two. And it would actually then generate and multiply that number times two. See, here you go. You can do multiple different things with your data. And this is not just applicable to financial data. This is also applicable to sales data and to other information. So this is Thomas Ott from NeuralMarketTrends.com. I hope you enjoyed this short video, video number 12, on this great little operator called Generate Attributes. Talk to you soon. For more video tutorials that are free on my site, please visit NeuralMarketTrends.com. Thank you very much.